they're really good products. I got almost $200 worth of products for $82.09. A brand new product that I haven't tried yet. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul video for ya. So Ulta is currently having their um, Ulta Rewards member 20% off sale going on. So this is a coupon that they send out, I think maybe two or three times a year, where you can get 20% off of anything in the entire store, including their Prestige Cosmetics, which they rarely do. So I always take advantage of this sale and I stock up on some of my uh, like usuals or the stuff that is really expensive and I kind of cringe every time I buy it. This is when I stock up on those products. But before I begin showing you what I got, I really want to just gloat about the savings that I had during this trip. So I got almost $200 worth of products for $82.09. And the way I did that is I used my 20% off coupon, of course, and then I used my Ulta points to pay for the rest. So I had like $70 in Ulta points saved up, and I applied it towards this haul. So I left that place just like on cloud nine, so happy with the savings that I had just saved during this haul. So anyways, enough jabbing, blabbing. Let's go ahead and so the first product, actually the first two products I have are holy grail products for me. This is my favorite, favorite dry shampoo. This is the pa Batiste dry shampoo. I'm sure you've heard a bazillion people talk about this already, but this shampoo is just fantastic. It is $8.99 a bottle and occasionally they will have it on sale for like buy one get one for half off but this stuff is just phenomenal it smells good they have it in different scents this is the leopard one which kind of smells like vanilla and then the cherry one which smells like cherry but this stuff is great it doesn't leave behind a white residue it smells good it gives you fluffy volumized hair it's just perfect so I bought two of those alright the next product I bought is kind of boring but I didn't even know these existed until somebody talked about it on YouTube, so I'll share with you anyways. This is the Exfoliating Round Cotton Pad. So this is just like your standard cotton pad that you would use to remove eye makeup or, you know, apply toner. But this actually has exfoliating, um, not beads, but an exfoliating side to the pad. You can see there that it has these little exfoliating bumps on it. So this product is really good. I use it to apply my toner um, in the morning time. It's just a kind of a nice way to add a little extra exfoliant to your skincare routine. So the next product I bought is another repurchase. In fact, almost everything I bought during this haul is a repurchase, so they're really good products. <laughs> but the next thing I bought is this Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This stuff is great. This is another holy grail item. This is another thing that I'm sure you have heard a bazillion people talk about here on YouTube, but this is so great. I have really, really long hair, and this just restores all the moisture and softness and shine in my hair. I like to use it maybe once a week, once every other week as my in replacement of my conditioner for that day, and it's great. It smells good. It really smells like, um, for anybody who is a, yeah, <laughs> for anybody who is a Bath and Body Works fan, this really reminds me of their winter candy apple scent. I know, that's so random, but it really does smell like that. So anyways, this stuff is fantastic. I highly recommend for anybody with long or thick hair, or actually anybody to be honest, it just leaves your hair feeling great. All right, so the next product, you guessed it, is a repurchase. So this is the Philosophy Purity, um, Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. This is my go-to favorite facial cleanser ever. Um, this works really good with a Clarisonic, so if you own a Clarisonic, this just foams up immediately on your Clarisonic. It is called a one-step facial cleanser because it's supposed to be a cleanser, a makeup remover, and a toner all in one. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it really does work great to cleanse your skin. It smells really good, and these large bottles last forever. They last me like six to nine months. Prior to Purity, I used Clinique Facial Cleanser for like years, and it caused me to have a bunch of weird skin issues, so I went back to this because I had used it prior, and I don't think I'll ever use anything else, so highly recommend this. Go and try it if you haven't. They also sell it in like little mini travel sample sizes um, at the registers 
they have it at both Ulta and Sephora actually so go check it out. So the next product is another repurchase. Uh, this is another philosophy product actually. This is their Hope in a Jar moisturizer. So I have very combination skin. My T-zone is like super oily and my cheeks are super dry. I am a true combination. Um, and this is great. This is their middle of the ground moisturizer. I actually have I think all of their jarred moisturizer. I have the, there's one that's like a gel one. I think it's called Take a Deep Breath or something like that. Then I have Hope in a Jar. Then I have Hope in a Jar for dry skin, which I use in the winter time. And then I also have their Hope in a Jar at night, which is in the black jar. This one is my favorite. This one I use year round. Um, in the winter time, I will sometimes use the Hope in a Jar for dry skin. It's like this only kind of enhanced a notch. But this stuff is super great. It's not super oily. It's not super thick. It has a very silky texture to it. So when you apply it to your skin, it just feels fantastic. So I really like this. If you have combination skin, then definitely give it a shot. The product I have is my last repurchase. Um, this is the Ulta Enriched Nail Polish Remover. This is like my third or fourth bottle of this stuff. This nail polish remover is fantastic. Uh, I think it does have acetone in it, so if you're somebody who is like totally against acetone, then I wouldn't recommend this, but it smells really good for a nail polish remover. It has a nice kind of scent to it, but the best thing about this is it is great at removing your polish. This removes glitter polish like a champ. <laughs> it also removes just standard polish really well too. Actually, the other day I had dropped a nail polish bottle on the floor and it shattered all over the place and I had to use a nail polish remover to pick it up. Luckily it fell on tile. But anyways, um, I used this to clean it up and it just, it got it right off of the floor. So this is a great, great nail polish remover. I think it is, it's like five dollars. Yeah. Actually, well, I got it for $2.13 after my discounts, but it's $4.99 originally, so it is well worth it. If you're on the hunt for a good nail polish remover, I know this really isn't a fun product, but it works really good. So, so next, I have a brand new product that I haven't tried yet. This is a this was a recommendation from one of my very good friends. She's also a makeup junkie just like me, and she recommended this. This is the Tarte High Performance Naturals smooth operator Amazonian clay finishing powder. So this is obviously a finishing powder um, and it's a loose powder so I've never used loose powder as a finishing powder before so I'm really excited to try it but this is part of their Amazonian clay line which I love. I love their blushes, I love their foundation, I love their uh, concealer. Tarte products in general are fantastic but this is supposedly supposed to be really good at controlling oils so I'm super excited to try this. Oh, and on the back of this product, it says 93% of women said skin appeared free of excess oil, 90% of women saw an immediate improvement in skin texture, and 90% of women said skin appeared smoother and softer. So, we'll see. All right, and the last product that I purchased was actually kind of a spur of the moment purchase. I wasn't planning on purchasing a hairbrush, but I did. Uh, <laughs> this is the Cricut Ultra Smooth Detangling Brush. So um, I currently use the wet brush is what it's called and it works really good to detangle my hair but you know us beauty girls, we're always on the hunt for something new so um, I was walking down the aisles and I saw this and it has like a, like a tangled teaser texture, it's plastic bristles, they're very flexible and it says perfect shower brush to massage and pull conditioner through, ideal for detangling all hair types wet or dry. So it's kind of neat. It has a really cool handle on it. So I haven't tried it yet. Obviously, it still has the packaging on it, but I have that long, thick hair, so I'm always searching for something that I can brush through my wet hair and not damage it. So I'm excited for that, too. All right, guys. Well, that is all that I have for you today. That is the end of my Ulta haul. Um, a lot of this is repurchased items. A lot of them are my holy grail items. So this kind of gives you a sneak peek at my non-makeup favorites. I know I bought one makeup product, but other than that, it's all non-makeup stuff. So kind of gives you a little bit of a sneak peek in some of my into some of my favorite items. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.